Okay, okay, okay. Hang Get on, careful. Yeah. What's left? Good, good. Oh, okay. Stop, stop rolling. Stop, stop rolling. Got him. Go. Oh, Woo! nice. Nice. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Oh, good spot. Yeah, he was baby. In there too. Wow, right? That's Amy, the python huntress, in action in the Florida Everglades. After I learned about her efforts hunting these python snakes, I reached out to her to see if I could get a skin. I wanted to tan it with our tana snake system. So Amy sent me this one. It's not the one that she captured in the video, but it's still an impressive five and a half feet long. As you can see, it was already fleshed, salted, and frozen. Here I'm just removing this excess salt and way, way impressed at how well Amy did fleshing this thing. The first step in the tanning process is to soak the snake skin in a salt bath. Even though this skin was previously salted and frozen, we're still gonna soak it. Soaking it in a salt bath removes the non-tannable proteins, which helps increase the efficiency of the tan. Once the salt is dissolved and the bath has cooled, go ahead and add the skin. Do so in a way so that it can move around freely and not be bunched up. As a thicker skin, I soaked it for six hours. After the allotted soak time, go ahead and pull the skin out and let it drain on paper towels. The reason we're seeing yellow in the salt bath is due to bacteria in the snake skin, and this can start growing as early as 30 minutes after the animal has expired. Next, rinse the skin in fresh water. This will help to remove the excess salt to avoid salt blisters. Now onto the tan bath. The amount of snake tanning agent needed is going to be based on the length of the snake skin. Again, use hot water and stir to dissolve the tan. Once the tan is dissolved and the bath has cooled, go ahead and open up the skin and add it gently to the bath. Keeping the skin open is important so that the tan can reach all sites. As the skin is thicker, I soaked it for 24 hours, agitating in between a few times. After 24 hours, you can see that some of the bacteria was still leached out into the water. But wow, look at this skin. It's truly tan leather now. It's stretchy, it's bright, it's nice and clean. Head now and pull the skin out of the tan bath and let it drain on some paper towels. The idea now is to get the skin to where it's just damp so we can get it ready for oiling. Oiling the tan snake skin is what will keep it soft. Start with the skin scale side up on a piece of plastic. Lay it out flat as this is the position it's going to dry in. Hi! Now that the damp skin is laid out flat, it's ready to be oiled. At the head area, apply a light coating of oil and gently work it in with your fingers. the direction of the scales and add oil to the thicker belly area. Tire scale side has been oiled, will allow the skin to remain on the plastic and dry overnight. The next day, Keeping it on the plastic, turn the skin over so that the flesh side is up. Again, straighten the skin how you want it, as this is the position it's going to dry in. And start applying the oil at the head area. This time you're going to use a little bit heavier application.
Be a little bit more liberal with the oil on the flesh side as it will absorb more than the scale side did. Again, be sure to add extra to the belly scale area as this area sometimes tends to curl up. Keeping the plastic under the skin will prevent the oil from leaching out onto the cardboard. The flesh side is completely oiled. We'll leave it in this position so that it can dry overnight. For the best results, dry the skin in a cooler area. 60 to 75 degrees is ideal. Next day, you can visibly see it drying. The oil has all soaked in, and now is the time when you can remove the plastic and let the skin dry on the cardboard. Once it's dry, the wow. skin will have a nice white color to it. Because python th skins are thicker, you can rub it over a table edge to help break it. This will keep the fibers soft and pliable. For this skin, I chose to keep the scales on. However, if you want to remove them, they can be easily popped off. It's just your own personal preference on how you want the final product to look. So here it is, the finished skin. Wow. I'm beyond excited at how well this turned out. The colors in this skin are absolutely beautiful. Thank you again, Amy, for the chance to tan this amazing creature.